Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can embed a Today's Meet room into a blog post. So I'm already signed into my Today's Meet account. Let's go ahead and create a room. We'll call it Mr. Byrne Speaks. We'll let the room be available for one hour. I'm going to let it be available to anyone who finds the room. Let's go ahead and open it. So I'll put in my nickname. Mr. Byrne, and I'll just say, good morning, class. Now let's go to the room tools and choose embed code. And I want my students to participate in the chat when this room is embedded in the blog post. So I'm going to select live stream. If you use transcript, it's going to show just the transcript. Students won't be able to interact. So let's choose live stream. And now since I'm going to put this in Blogger, I'm going to use other. So if you're using something besides WordPress, Moodle, or Haiku, select other, and then copy the code provided. Now go write your blog post. So I'll write my blog post, and I'll just say participate in chat. And I'll copy that code provided by today's meet into the blog post and publish. Now let's take a look at the post. So now we can see here we have Mr. Byrne Speaks embedded into the blog post. A student can come along and put in a nickname. Let's put in Morrison as a nickname and write a message and say, good morning, Mr. Byrne. And we now have the conversation embedded directly into the blog post. This is a nice way to get students involved in a Today's Meet discussion. If they're already familiar with going to your blog, you won't have to give them a different link or uh, a different QR code. You can simply say to them, go to the classroom blog and join in the conversation. So that's how you can embed a Today's Meet room into your blog post. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.